Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. That is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear. And I'm really excited for this video today. So today I am doing my channel goals for 2022. I'm going to have my thoughts of how 2021 went in a different video. This is just focusing on 2022. Okay, so for 2022, I think the biggest channel change is I am going to do away with the monthly TBR. And that's just because I'm a mood reader and I'll stick really well to the first few books of that monthly TBR. And then after that, my mood has changed and I don't necessarily want to read the rest of the TBR. And that's not a lot of fun for me. And I don't think that's a lot of fun for you especially if you were really hoping to hear my thoughts on a particular book and then I don't read it. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to do a weekly wrap up. And in that, I'm going to talk about the books I'm making progress on or have finished. I'll probably have a section in there that talks a little bit about writing. And then I thought it'd be fun to have a section that talks about other media, other things I'm, I'm consuming, like video games, TV, movies, podcasts, just so you can see that not all of my time is spent reading. Now, if I am participating in a readathon, I am going to do a readathon TBR. So I like participating in G from Book Roast, her magical readathon. I will have a TBR for that month, but that is because it will be specific to that readathon. Otherwise, in my weekly wrap up, I will talk about what books I'm planning to work on in the following week. As of recording this, I am at 113 books. And I'll probably get at least one more read at the end by the end of this year. So I'm making my Goodreads goal 100 books, but my monthly goal is going to be actually eight. For that, I would like it to be four novels and then four other forms of writing. So that can be a novella, a novelette, short story collection, poems, manga, graphic novel, just so I'm reading a little bit more of a variety of items. I still want to read at least one new release a month. So that'll be in 2022. I hope to read one 2022 book at least a month. But I also want to put some focus on books that I have started and had to return to the library or put down for other reasons and actually finish them. One of the ways I'd like to do this is for books that I've had to return to the library, I but I've started and plan to continue. I mark them on Goodreads as currently reading. That number is at 161 currently. Yeah, that I mean, and that has built from since I've started on Goodreads in 2012. So I want to get that number down. That's going to be a yearly goal. And for these goals that I have like specific numbers, I'll probably put those statistics in the last week wrap up of each month. That way you guys can kind of see on a month to month basis, how am I doing with these numbered goals? So my Goodreads currently reading list is at 161 and we want to, this to go down at least by 12 books. I'm thinking a book a month on that. Oh, I am bad at math. So I'd like this number by the end of the year to be at 149 or lower. I also have a physical TBR that I would like to continue reading and or get read and so then if it's a book I don't like I can get it off my shelf to make room for something I do like and that number is currently sitting at 73 so if I could read 12 from that as well that will be 61 by the end of the year so the goal is to drop that from 73 to 61 I also have some series that I have started and I'd like to close them out so I am currently in progress on 87 series. That's right, 87 that I have started. Now, 17 of those I am currently caught up. So those means those are in progress even for the author. So that is still 70 series that has a finish or I need to catch up to where they are currently. And so, you know what? I'm trying, you know, just thinking of the one a month kind of thing. 87 minus 12. Let's get that number down to 75, shall we? Now, of course, I'll be interesting if I start another series. We will see how this number goes. I am interested in trying to be more consistent with my videos, and my personal goal is to do three videos a week. 
I'm thinking of posting on Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. And that all just depends on how time works out. I've been really trying to work on that already, and it seems to be a fairly good system, provided family allows me to do videos. We shall see. That is the goal for 2022, at least, is to do three videos a week. The majority of my videos, I'm pretty sure, are still going to be booktube related. I do want to do more writing related content, but I haven't figured out how I want to incorporate that in my channel. And honestly, I'm way better about reading every day than I am writing every day. So this still is primarily a booktube channel with writing content sprinkled in. And then my last goal for, for the year 2022 is I'd like to get better about writing written reviews for all the books that I read. Currently, I know I do videos for the new releases, but I would like to actually write reviews for all of the books I read. We will see how that will go, but that is my goal. What are your goals for next year? Do you have anything that you're hoping to do, hoping to change? Do you just set a reading goal and leave it at that? Please let me know down below. Thank you and have a good day.